If you've ever driven east at sunrise or west at sunset, you are driving into backlight. The sun is right in front of you, just as it is here. And any object that's in front of the sun that's coming at us, particularly objects that are transparent, they are going to glow. And my attraction to this seashell is that it's emphasizing the form and the shape and the texture of the interior of this shell. Let's take a look. I've got my 200 millimeter macro lens on, which allows me to focus remarkably close. In this case, about half life size. I'm going to choose an aperture of 22 in this case, simply because I need a little more depth of field than if I were to shoot this at 8 or 11. This is not what I call a who cares, where everything's at the same focus distance, because in fact, there's like ridges that are being exposed, almost like mountaintops, to a, to a degree uh, that the macro lens reveals as we get closer and closer. So I'm at f22 and adjust my aperture, excuse me, adjust my shutter speed until a 60th of a second indicates a correct exposure. I now simply, with the self timer engaged, press the shutter release, hands off, and the exposure is recorded. Take a look. Isn't that amazing? Now this backlighting of a seashell is certainly not limited to a seashell. In fact, you could go cut yourself a lemon or an orange slice and find a way to prop it up against the backlight and have a glowing lemon or a glowing orange. In addition, you could certainly go out and grab yourself a green leaf off of a tree in the spring or, of course, a colorful leaf in the fall. Much like we see here, I've got a leaf that's backlit in the frost. Backlight. What it reveals? Form and texture in a very stunning way. Until next time, this is Brian Peterson saying, keep shooting.